So next uh, theorem is higher order derivative. If a function fz is analytic within and on a simple closed contour C, then its derivative, then derivative of all orders are analytic and are given by nth derivative of function at z naught point which is equal to n factorial over 2 pi iota integration around c fz into dz over z minus z naught raised to power n plus 1. Here the point z naught which is in the inside the c. So remember that. Now we shall prove this result with the help of induction, mathematical induction. So first of all, we will prove it by using n equal to 1. So, proof of the, this result is we shall prove it, prove it by induction. So, first I take n equal to 1 then it means it is a first derivative so what is first derivative so this is f1 at the point z0 which is equal to f dash z0 so hence by using Cauchy integral formula so this value is equal to 2 pi iota integration around c f of z into dz raised to power z minus z naught raised to power 2. So this is a f dash z naught value of f dash z naught. So it is the first derivative of function of z naught. So this means this can be written as 1 factorial over 2 pi iota integration around c f of z into dz over z minus z naught raised to power 1 plus 1. It means result is true for n equal to 1. Now in the next part assume that Assume that result is true for true for n equal to m. So we will prove it for n equal to m plus 1. If result is true for n equal to m, then it means the mth derivative of function at point z naught which is equal to m factorial 2 pi iota around integration c f z dz over z minus z naught raised to power m plus 1 because this result is true for n equal to m. So it means it satisfies this condition. Now we will prove it for m plus 1. So to prove the result for m plus 1, now this can be written as now from this if i replace z0 by z0 plus h, then it implies mth derivative of z0 plus h. This can be written as m factorial over 2 pi iota integration of f z dz over bracket z minus z naught plus h and raised to power 
m plus 1 around integration c so this is equation number 3 so from this we can get the value of this equation number 3 now after that this can be written as f of f of mth derivative at point z0 plus h minus f of mth derivative at the point z over h so this value can be written as now using equation number 2 and 3 so what we get we get this value can be written as m factorial so here this m factorial over 2 pi iota integration of c 1 by h now in this case this value is equal to 1 over integration so here it is 1 over z minus z minus z naught plus h and raised to power m plus 1 minus 1 over z minus z naught and raised to power m plus 1 so this is in bracket f of z into dz so this values here it is 1 by h now simplify this equation now from this we can when we can take it outside 1 over z minus z naught so this can be written as which is equal to m factorial over 2 pi iota integration c this values and then here it is function of fz so this is f of z over this can be taken outside z minus z naught and this is raised to power m plus 1 so here what we get so this is a 1 by h so this is a 1 by h so this can be written as 1 by h and this is 1 over z minus z naught raised to power m plus 1 common so this can be written as 1 plus 1 minus h over z minus z naught this values and this value is equal to raised to power m plus 1 this values and this is 1 by h into d of z so just uh, simplify this equation so we take it outside so it will convert it to 1 so if it will be converted to 1 so here this value is 1 minus 1 minus uh, h of this values and this is in bracket and here so which is equal to minus 1 so this is this values and here this is minus 1 in this place into d of z so just to simplify we can get this kind of values so this uh, can be written as this is raised to power m plus h so this is total raised to power m plus h so here not at this place here it is m plus 1 right so not at this place so remove this term in this way so we get this m plus 1 minus m minus 1 now this equation can be written as this value which is equal to so this can be written as m factorial which is equal to m 
फैक्टोरियल ओवर टू पाई आयोटा अराउंड सी एफ ऑफ जेड दिस वैल्यूज ओवर जेड माइनस जेड नॉट रेज टू पावर एम प्लस वन एंड हेयर इट इज वन बाय एच एंड देन इट इज इन ब्रैकेट सो दिस वैल्यू इज वन माइनस एच ओवर जेड माइनस जेड नॉट एंड रेज टू पावर माइनस एम प्लस वन एम प्लस वन एंड दिस इज माइनस वन एंड दिस इज इन टू डी ऑफ जेड नाउ हेयर वी विल अप्लाई द बायनोमियल एक्सपेंशन सो इफ वी विल अप्लाई द बायनोमियल एक्सपेंशन सो द अवर नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी सो दिस इज इक्वल टू एम फैक्टोरियल ओवर टू पाई आयोटा अराउंड दिस सी एफ ऑफ जेड इन टू डी जेड एफ ऑफ जेड ओवर जेड माइनस जेड नॉट रेज टू पावर एम प्लस वन वन बाई एच सो दिस इज इन ब्रैकेट नाउ फ्रॉम दिस वट वी गेट सो वी गेट द इक्वेशन फर्स्ट इज वन दिस इज वन देन प्लस प्लस एम प्लस वन इंटू एच ओवर जेड माइनस जेड नॉट दिस वैल्यूज सो दिस इज माई फर्स्ट टर्म आफ्टर दैट प्लस नेक्स्ट टर्म कंटेनिंग द टर्म ऑफ प्लस टर्म containing h square h square and more right so this and this is at this minus 1 into d of z so this minus 1 is cancel with this h and h is cancel with this h so what we get we get the next uh, equation which is equal to m factorial so this is m factorial into this m plus 1 so this value is m plus 1 over 2 pi iota and this value is integration of c f of z over z minus z not raised to power m plus 1 and this is is equal to 1 because this h is cancel with this plus term containing containing h so the next term are the term containing h and this is into d of z this values now as h approaches to 0 this term will be 0 so this so here we take the limit on both sides so if we take the limit on both sides so this will become m factorial m plus 1 over 2 pi iota around c f of z into d z over z minus z not raise to power m plus 1 as h approaches to 0 as h approaches to 0 so what we get we get this is in the left hand side it will become a limit of h approaches to 0 mth derivative at the point z not plus h minus mth derivative at the point z not over h and this value is equal to this product will converted into m plus 1 factorial over 2 pi iota and this is integration around c so which is f z into d z over z minus z not raised to power m plus 1 this value 
Now from this, what we get? We get m plus 1 derivative of function at the point z which is equal to m plus 1 factorial over 2 pi iota around c f of z into dz over z minus z naught raised to power m plus 1. Now it means the result is true for n equal to m plus 1. So if the result is true for n equal to m plus 1, hence the result is true by mathematical induction. So in this way we can find that we can find that the nth derivative of the any function at the point z naught. So it implies result is result is true for n equal to m plus 1 n equal to n plus 1 so it means result is true by induction so it means result is true by induction so which prove our result so basically it is a cauchy integral formula of higher order so in this way we can use this uh, function values this values to find the answer to find the result to solve the problem now for example we will discuss some question on the basis of cauchy integral formula so this is very very important result first question so we will discuss the entire cauchy integral formula the statement is evaluate evaluate integration c or this function is e raised to power 2z dz over z plus 1 raised to power 4 and where the circle c is the circle modulus of z which is equal to 3 it means a it is a circle with center origin and radius 3 so remember this now here this integration can be written as so first write this integration so this integration can be written as integration of phi of z over z minus minus 1 raised to power 4 into d of z where what is the phi of z so this is some analytic function which is e raised to power 2z this values now check plus 1 it means the singular point of this function is minus 1 now we will check that this point is inside this uh, values or not in order to check that the given contour is which is a in this way so this is a origin so this is a x axis and this is a y axis so what is given part given part c is a circle whose radius is 3 1 2 3 so this is 1 2 3 and this is 1 2 3 this is a minus 1 minus 2 and 3 so if we take a contour c so this is of this type so this is a c contour with with center is origin and radius is 3 so this value is 1 this is 2 this is 3 
सो माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री एंड सिमिलरली वन टू थ्री माइनस वन माइनस टू एंड माइनस वन माइनस टू एंड माइनस थ्री नाउ चेक द सिंगुलर पॉइंट ऑफ टोटल फंक्शन विच इज माइनस वन सो माइनस वन इज इन साइड द सर्कल it means this total function is not analytic in this circle but phi of z is analytic in this circle because phi of z is exponential function so it means if i take the total function fz so which is equal to phi of z over z plus 1 रेज टू पावर फोर सो दिस फंक्शन इज नॉट अनालैटिक अनालैटिक एट पॉइंट पॉइंट जेड इक्वल टू माइनस वन विद इन सी विद इन सी बट बट फाइ ऑफ जेड दिस फंक्शन e raised to power 2z which is analytic analytic within and on a c within and on a c right if this function will analytic in this region then by cauchy theorem its integration will be zero but now in this case the function is not analytic at this point so integration of this function is not zero so remember so we will apply the cauchy integral formula to find its integral values now by using the cauchy integral formula so what is the cauchy integral formula so this is a f nth derivative at point z not so this is equal to integration so here this can be written as <coughs> this can be written as m factorial over 2 pi iota so this is here this value is equal to f of z into dz over z minus z not Raise to power m plus one. Now here, remember that. So if I write it as phi, so this will become a phi function. Remember this. Now compare that function that the given integral. So here m is equal to in our question, m is equal to three because total value is four. So m is equal to three. And next is this values phi of z, and phi of z is equal to e raised to power two z. If m is equal to three, so we required the third derivative of phi z. So what is the third derivative? So first derivative of this function, which is two e raised to power two z, and second derivative. Phi double dash z, which is four e raised to power two z, and what is the third derivative? This is third derivative of this function z, which is equal to eight e raised to power two z. So we get the derivative. Now this value. Now in the our question, in order to find this, so it will become a the fourth derivative. so this is a third derivative m is equal to 3 at the point minus 1 because z not is equal to minus 1 so this is equal to what is m m is equal to 3 so here it is 3 factorial over 2 pi iota and ara this is integration c so what is phi z which is e raised to power 2 z and what is this this is z plus 1 raised to power 4 now simplify this 
so what we get so this is a if we get phi third derivative at point minus 1 so this is 8 e raised to power minus 2 so this values now just substitute all these values so we get this value it implies this is 8 e raised to power minus 2 so this value is equal to 6 over 2 pi iota so this will become a 3 and next is integration around c so this is f of z which is e raised to power 2z over this over z plus 1 raised to power 4 now from this what we get we get the integration which is equal to 8 pi iota so what is the value of this integration this is e raised to power 2z into dz over z plus 1 raised to power 4 so this value is equal to 8 by 3 pi iota into e raised to power minus 2 so this will be the answer of this our result so this can be written as 8 pi iota over 3 e square so this is the answer of this question so in order to solve these equation so we will apply Cauchy Gauss theorem and Cauchy integral formula so if the function is analytic then we will apply the Cauchy Gauss theorem if the function is not analytic then we will apply the Cauchy integral formula now next is next questions are use Cauchy integral formula so use Cauchy integral Cauchy integral formula formula calculate the following integral calculate the following integral following integral so i take first integral which is a so this is equal to function integration c which is z equal to 2 this values and here it is z into dz over 9 minus z square into z plus iota so this values now first check the singular point of this functions so singular point of these functions which is equal to plus minus 3 so from this plus minus 3 and 1 is minus iota so then the given contour is this is a origin and it is a circle 1 2 so this will become a contour of this kind right so again it is minus 1 minus 2 1 and 2 1 and 2 so what are the singular point so singular point are 1 is plus 3 and second is minus 3 and from this which is equal to minus iota so it means only one singular point lies in this circle so that is a z equal to minus iota which is 0 minus 1 so 0 minus 1 means minus 1 this minus 2 this so this point 
and these singular point plus 3 so this is minus 3 and this is plus 3 so this is outside the this circle so the these function this total function has three singular point plus 3 minus 3 and minus alpha from these singular point only one lie inside the circle so first remember only one lie inside the circle so we take the function phi z of this because this is analytic so this is a uh, analytic but the entire function this function is not analytic z equal to minus iota so i take this value outside if I take this value outside, so this integration can be written as this integration. So just uh, I change this integration around C, which is a phi of Z, which is D of Z over Z plus iota, where phi of Z is equal to z over 9 minus z square so remaining function so this is a function so this is a uh, singular point of the entire function and this is a analytic function so phi z is analytic in this region now here we can use the Cauchy integral formula so Cauchy integral formula is phi dash z naught which is equal to phi dash z naught which is equal to 1 by 2 pi iota around c so phi of z into dz over z plus iota z minus minus iota so here z naught is a point which is equal to minus iota not plus iota here z naught is minus iota no now i need a derivative of function at the point minus iota so i solve this equation then substitute the value of this uh, iota minus iota now what is phi of z so what is phi of z which is equal to z over 9 minus z square now differentiate this with respect to z so this will become a 9 minus z square into 1 minus z into minus 2z over 9 minus z square raised to power 2 so this value will become 9 minus z square which is equal to plus 2z square over 9 minus z square raised to power 2 this values now this value is equal to 9 plus z square over 9 minus z square raised to power 2 now at the point minus iota so phi dash at the point minus iota so this value will become which is equal to which is 9 minus iota square so this will be plus so here it is a 9 minus iota square again raised to power 2 so this will become a 10 and here it is again 10 into 10 which is 100 so this will be become a 1 by 10 so just simplify the value now substitute in the given equation so when we will substitute here this value is 1 by 10 so this is 5 pi iota so what we get we get integration phi z into dz over z plus iota around c which is equal to this is 1 by 10 so this will become a 5 pi iota so that is the 
result of that is the answer of uh, this equation this function so in this way we can find the result of uh, this uh, integration so this is a phi pi iota so the basically our function is this so it is a phi z iota so this value which is equal to phi pi iota so this is the answer of this uh, question so in this way we can find the result of our integration so we will take a some another example for example our next example is just check that dz over z into z plus pi iota z into z plus pi iota so one way is we will split this by partial fraction that is a one way we can use this and the second way is so this is integration around c which is equal to z plus 3 iota and this is which is equal to 1 so this is a circle which is equal to 1 so again solve this integration so there are number of examples in the book so use the Cauchy integral formula and solve all the all the integrations so in this way we can find the value of this integration all these integrations so just do practice by taking the question from the book now after going to this the next is poison integral formula so this is very important poison integral formula integral formula so in the examination this article will be asked as state and prove poison integral formula so what is the statement so also remember the statement if a function if function f of z is analytic is analytic within and on a simple closed contour C contour C the what is first statement that is a which is a function which is a analytic within and on the on uh, on a simple closed contour c ja we can also say that circle circle which is given as c such that modulus of z equal to r so it means it is a circle with center origin and radius capital R and next is if alpha is if alpha is any point any point within the circle within the circle if alpha is any point within the circle c then prove that then prove that f of alpha which is equal to 1 by 2 pi iota integration around c r square minus alpha into alpha conjugate and f of z over z minus 
अल्फा इंटू आर स्केयर माइनस जेड इंटू अल्फा कंजुगेट इंटू डी जेड इंटू डी जेड दिस वैल्यूज सो दैन प्रूव दिस रिजल्ट नाउ इन एडिशन टू दैट हिंस डिड्यूस दैट दैट हिंस इन एडिशन टू दैट f of r e raised to power iota theta so this is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration 0 to 2 pi into r square minus small r square into f of capital r e raised to power iota phi here phi over r square minus 2 r small r cos of phi minus theta plus small r square and into d phi this is d phi where so what is alpha where alpha is equal to small r e raised to power iota theta this is any point any point Inside the circle point, in the circle, in the circle, z modulus of z, which is equal to r. So this is a some point inside the circle of the r. So this is a statement of Poisson integral formula. Now, in order to prove this result so just check that what is given part so given part is we have a some circle c so this is a some circle c and this point is origin and this point is origin and this is a y axis and this is a x axis this values and this uh, is a radius which is equal to capital r so this is a circle with radius capital r so here it is some point p whose coordinate are alpha because this is a alpha and the radius of the distance is which is equal to from this to this which is equal to small r so this is capital r this is a small r this values so this is a some values some value some direction so this is a the so this is a point p in this line in this straight line so in this case just check let alpha is equal to r e raised to power iota theta so this is a point in two plane so this value will be theta so this will be alpha is equal to r e raised to power iota theta so remember that this values this is any point alpha any point this is any point in the circle c so first remember this is any point in circle c now clearly we see that 
clearly we see that 0 is less than r and this is less than equal to capital R. See like this r length is smaller than this values. Now what is the inverse of p with respect to circle which is equal to now remember this is a definition so just uh, remember that the inverse of inverse of p p whose coordinate are alpha with respect to circle with respect to circle c and this value is remember that q whose coordinate are r square over alpha so remember that so inverse of p alpha with respect to circle c and it which lies outside the which lies outside the circle outside the circle c right so this is a if it is point p then inverse is at this point which is q this point whose coordinate are r square over alpha and this lies outside the circle so remember this is a definition of this uh, inverse of point so just understand the definition i just uh, repeat what is the inverse point with respect to circle so just first uh, i repeat what is the inverse point inverse point with respect to with respect to circle so i first write the value of inverse point now i just convey the definition any two points two points p and q suppose p and q because we are taking p and q are said to be are said to be inverse point inverse point so remember that they are said to be inverse point with respect to with respect to circle whose origin is 0 and radius is capital r this is said to be this is said to be inverse point with this if if o which is origin and p point which is p point and third is q point these are collinear number one these are collinear means they act along a straight line so we check that they act along a straight line and second properties op into oq this length which is equal to r square which is equal to r square so it means oq is equal to o q which is equal to r square but a op matlab r square over alpha right so this is a definition that we used here now from this question this definition this is o point this is p point this is q point so they act along a straight line they are collinear and also op into pq op into oq which is equal to r square 
so in this way the coordinate of q is r square by alpha because this length is alpha so it means this uh, is equal to r square over alpha so just we used the definition of inverse point of a circle now after using the definition so we know that the by cauchy integral formula cauchy integral formula so here i use the cauchy integral formula so by cauchy integral formula alpha is a point inside the circle so f of alpha which is equal to 1 by 2 pi iota this is around c which is a circle f of z into dz over z minus alpha so this is a cauchy integral formula so i write it as equation number 1 so i did nothing so <coughs> i write it as equation number 1 i can use because function fz is analytic within c and alpha is lies inside the c but r square alpha is lies outside the c so just remember that now if this can be written as now since we know that f of z this value f of z this value is analytic is analytic analytic within c this is within c also remember that also this point q r square by alpha so this point is outside the c out side Thus, he it implies the function f z over z minus r square over alpha because this point is outside the c, so this is analytic, analytic within c, within c. Why it is possible? Because this point is outside the c. so this is total function is not analytic outside the c but it is analytic inside the c inside the c whose radius is 1 if this function is analytic inside the c then by cauchy theorems so by cauchy theorem cauchy theorem integration around this integration of fz dz over z minus r square over alpha around this c is equal to 0 why because it is analytic so i write this is as equation number 2 now subtracting equation number 1 2 from 1 so what we get we get f of alpha which is from equation number 1 minus 0 which is equation number 2 so this value will become 1 by 2 pi iota so this is integration f z d z over z minus alpha bracket so this is minus f z d z over z minus r square by alpha so this values here we can write in this way now this f z and d z is common so we can take it outside fz into dz so this will become a 1 so here 
I write so here I write this is 1 again this is 1 so simplify this value so this value will become 1 by 2 pi iota integration around C so which is Z minus R square over alpha minus Z minus alpha over Z minus alpha into Z minus R square over alpha and here it is Fz into Dz. So we get this value. Now from this, this term Z is cancelled with this term. So this will become a alpha minus R square over alpha. So just uh, simplify this equations. So when we will simplify so this will become a 1 by 2 pi iota around C. This is around C. And this will become a R square. Here it is alpha conjugate. So this just uh, correct that this is alpha conjugate. So this point is alpha conjugate. So write everywhere. So this is alpha conjugate. So just here it is alpha op over q. So this is alpha conjugate. So this point is alpha conjugate. So just miss. So just here write alpha into alpha conjugate. Now from this at the end just simplify. So this is alpha conjugate. So this is the alpha conjugate and this value. Now simplify this result. What we get? We get R square. So this is positive alpha into alpha conjugate. This is minus. So R square minus alpha into alpha conjugate over this values which is Z minus alpha and here this is R square and here alpha alpha conjugate r square minus alpha conjugate into z into f of z into dz. So this is the value of f of alpha. Right? So this is my first part. This value is equal to r square minus alpha into alpha conjugate fz into dz, z minus alpha into r square minus alpha conjugate into z. So this is my first part of the result. So I just apply the Cauchy integral formula. Now deduction. Now what is given? Given is modulus of z equal to r. So this is a circle. So if this is a circle, it implies Z can be written as capital R e raised to power <coughs> iota phi. This values. So we can write it as dz which is R e raised to power iota phi iota into d phi. This values. Now in case of second part what is alpha? Alpha is r e raised to power iota theta. So it implies, it implies alpha conjugate 
so that is also required in this equation so alpha conjugate which is r e raised to power minus iota theta now my choice is alpha into alpha conjugate so alpha conjugate into z and z minus alpha so first i find r square minus alpha into alpha conjugate so this value will become r square minus r e raised to power iota theta r e raised to power minus iota theta so this will become r square minus small r square so its its value is equal to r square minus small r square this values so if this value is equal to this values now what is the value of this equation so just uh, which is z minus alpha into r square minus z into alpha conjugate so simple substitute the values so what is z z is r e raised to power iota phi minus small r e raised to power iota theta and second is r square minus z which is r into r into r e raised to power iota one is z is positive and alpha is negative so iota phi minus theta so i get this values this is from this values now just simplify this result so we get so just simplify the result so we get r e raised to power iota phi taking common from this side so what we get we get the this values so here it is r e raised to power iota phi and this value can be written as from this one is again r so here i get the e raised to power iota phi r is from this so this will become a one r minus small r e raised to power minus iota and phi minus theta this values into here r is from this r minus small r e raised to power iota phi minus theta so just i take e raised to power iota phi from this and r from this index this bracket so i get this value now i got this values r minus r e raised to power iota theta minus phi so this is a phi minus theta minus phi and this is a minus of this values so just multiply so we get this value is equal to r e raised to power iota phi and this value will become bracket so when we multiply so this is a r square one term from this plus small r square plus small r square then multiply by these term so this is a minus and minus minus r into r and this is in bracket e raised to power minus iota phi minus theta and plus e raised to power iota phi minus theta so one is positive and second is negative so this is cos so sin term will be cancel so this will become r e raised to power iota phi and this is r square plus r square minus 
this will become a two time cos of phi minus theta. So the cos of because cos minus theta is negative, so this can be re re written as two time cos of theta minus phi two time r into r cos of theta minus phi. Also, we can written as phi minus theta because it is a uh, cos of minus theta is cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta. Now, also we know all the values. So, just substitute in the equation. So, what we get? We get f of first I substitute the value of alpha so that is r e raised to power iota theta and this value which is end aggression 1 by 2 pi iota integration 0 to 2 pi this values so first r square minus small r square f of capital R e raised to power iota phi this values and next is R e raised to power iota phi into iota into d phi. So this is from the dz over over r into e raised to power iota phi this is in bracket into r square plus small r square minus 2 r r cos of theta minus phi this values this values now this term is cancel with this term and this iota is cancelled with this iota. So what we get? We get 1 by 2 pi this is integration 0 to 2 pi which is equal to r minus small r square into f of r e raised to power iota phi into d phi over r square plus small r square minus 2 r r cos of theta minus phi. So which prove our result. So this is called Poisson integral formula. So this is very important result and expected for examination. Thank mm -hmm. you.